All right, 38, 39, and 40. We're going to get into the final pin of the Platt uh, Crossbred Males before we get into Three's Company and all the Crossbred Guilds. I think a really, really good way to end it here. Uh, lot 38 is a pig that's uh, uh, been really, really good ever since uh, ever since the start. And uh, why we cut him? I don't know, but he's cut. So he's offered as a barrel, obviously. But uh, uh, this is a pig that we own this sow in partnership with the Hartzell family. Um, this female was the Rotoball Blue Riggs Guild there from 2022, Punisher Never Before. Uh, anybody remembers her? She was a very, very special kind of a guilt. Uh, uh, name is Shooky, and uh, she uh, she's done a nice job for us here. This uh, th this is her third litter, and uh, this one here, this litter here, is tremendously good. Sired by Judgmental. Judgmental's the Stolquist hog that uh, first crops on the ground, and I think the right type and kind, and I think just matched up tremendously good. Uh, the Judgmental pigs. Uh, have enough stretch, but have some of the extras in terms of shape and really, really heavy structured. And uh, this pig here, uh, not only the, the the neat color pattern, but uh, man, his fundamentals are so good in terms of his angulation, his set, his rear leg. He's heavy, heavy boned. He's uh, shapely. He's square. His composition so good. Uh, that pig there is uh, really, really good. And I think he's going to be a fun one to feed, regardless whoever gets him, uh, regardless where they want to show him and when they want to show him. 95-4, lot 38. <coughs> lot 39 is going to be next. Uh, this is a uh, promotion pig. Uh, the 98s, we sold uh, uh, sold a bunch of those pigs in our last sale, and we got a barren gilt in this sale to finish up the, the seven pigs in the litter. We sold five in the last sale and two in this sale. This hog was a little bit greener in that sale. Uh, he's a promotion back on the tricked-out Dominator clone. This is the sow we called Jordan that Brantley showed uh, uh, last winter, very dominant uh, pure influence gilt that uh, – uh, made the autocorrect bore there at Laird's that we sold, as well as Copperhead there at Schaefer's in her first litter. This is her second litter. Uh, this hog here is, uh, he's still green in his type and kind, but he's heavy boned. He's good feeding, and I think square underneath. Uh, needs to come with muscle. He will come with muscle. It will grow into his ears, but uh, he's going to be one heavy duty, good feeding, uh, great feeding leg kind of a hog there. Just needs to come with the shot more muscle and maybe a little attitude adjustment in terms of showing there, but uh, uh, that pig there, I think, is a feeder's dream in terms of just pouring it to him and, and finishing him up there, probably a July ending kind of a bear there with a very high ceiling in terms of a heavy structure and kind of a hog to, uh, uh, with the finished product. <clears throat> Lot 40 is going to be 103-1. He is a uh, judgmental back on a litter mate to that, uh, that Jordan sow we just talked about. Uh, I like Jordan so well that I bought the mom as well as the sister to her there that, uh, that Kilmer was lucky enough to sell us and, uh, uh, this so it, this would be a uh, this would be a judgmental back on a tricked out dominator. Um, so I think that uh, th this hog here is one that's uh, you know not not in a big hole in this hog. He's not out there in any regards, but I just think a good feeding kind of a bear that offers some shape and muscle. His bone works good. His pastern sets good. Uh, gives you a nice look in terms of his head and neck and design. And at the same time, I think fundamentals, uh, just everything's there. I think a feeding kind of a pig, he finishes in July, not going to get you in any kind of trouble, and I think can be a really, really good kind of a heavyweight bear there in lot 40. <clears throat>